All right, so we got some big news that just came out from Politico. Uh, apparently, Florida Democrats have decided unilaterally, we're not having a primary election. They, they actively decided we will do no democratic process whatsoever, even though Marianne Williamson's been in the race against Biden for quite a while now, even though Dean Phillips launched recently, even though Jank jumped in, even though he's got court cases to get through, but putting Jank aside, I mean, just think Dean Phillips and Marianne Williamson, there's no legal challenges on that front. They are definitely opponents to Joe Biden. Whether or not you agree with them, that's irrelevant. That doesn't matter. So the state of Florida, let me explain to you how this works. So mm -hmm. um, the way it works in that state is that like the party submits a list of the people to be on the ballot, which already is sort of weird, right? Right. Uh, and it was supposed to be on Decem December 1st? It was either November 1st or December 1st. But what happened was a month before that, mm -hmm. the Florida Democrats decided we're going to release our list now without telling anybody, without warning anybody about an earlier deadline. And the list just had Joe Biden on it. So then Dean Phillips the other day tries to, tries to get his name on the ballot. And they go, oh, I'm sorry, we can't help you. We've already done the list and you're not on it. And he's like, well, hold on. You said, the, you said it was this date was the, the final date to submit. And they're like, oh, yeah, we changed that and moved it a month earlier. It's like, okay, well, you didn't tell anybody that. He's like, well, what do you want me to tell you? It's over. It's done. You can't get on this ballot. And then they just canceled the primary, right? They canceled because the primary. no competition, quote, unquote. Right. And so Dean Phillips goes on uh, Twitter and, you know, yet again, he said this the other day, he apologized to Bernie Sanders for saying, I thought it was sour grapes when you were saying the DNC was rigging it against you. Now I know firsthand they're definitely rigging it against uh, against all the can other candidates that are not named Joe Biden. And so... He releases a video and he's basically like, this is flat out authoritarian. You don't believe in the democratic process at all. You're unilaterally deciding as a state party that voters don't get to have a say in any way, shape or form. And he says, look, this is like Iran. Like you're being authoritarian like Iran or like any other, you know, a dictatorship type country. So then Florida Democrats see that statement and they come back out and they play the, how dare you game? I'm so offended you would compare us to Iran, a terrorist nation. And it's like, are you going to answer the specific criticism of you just ended democracy in your state for the primary? Are you going to respond to that or are you just going to dodge it? Of course. And, of, and of course they dodged it. And so now here we are. Jank was tweeting about this the other day when the news came out. I saw Marianne Williamson tweeting about this as well. Dean Phillips. I mean, they're going to I think Dean Phillips is trying to take them to court. But like this part of the strategy is. Yeah, okay, we'll tie you up in court and you're still going to end up getting nowhere. It's going to cost you hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to go through the court process. Right. And nothing's going to come of it anyway. So when the party decides, we are going to do this, that's it. It's over. It's and unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And it's enabled by, I mean, they have really pushed this idea that to save democracy, we have to end democracy, basically. Like, we can't afford to have democracy because we have to beat Donald Trump. And if we had a real primary process, that would be a disaster. And that's, of course, complete bullshit. And it's insane on its face. Like, to save democracy, we have to kill democracy. We can't have democracy. It's absurd. And it really reveals that they actually don't believe in democracy. They actually don't have faith in the people to be able to evaluate choices responsibly and come to a decision that they believe is in their best interest. It's really incredible to have it so brazen Especially when, I mean, at this point, like, Joe Biden is not in any real danger. You know, Marion is, the last poll I saw had, like, Marion at eight and Dean Phillips at four, and they didn't include Jenk in the poll, right? Joe Biden has a huge lead on them. What are they so terrified of that they have to use these incredibly heavy-handed authoritarian tactics? They are afraid of anything getting a little bit of air and then spiraling out of control because they see the other polls where it's like 70 percent of the country doesn't want Joe Biden to run again. A majority of Democrats think he's too old to get another term. They see those polls and they're like, all right, we like, let's take no chances whatsoever. That's the idea. In spite so, of the polls that show him with the lead. So God forbid in one of these early states, you get a Marianne Williamson win or a Dean Phillips win or whatever, you know, they're going to. They're flipping out and they don't want that to spiral out of control. So I think that's where it stems from. But look, uh, I forget who said this, but I heard somebody make this argument recently. They're like, OK, you want to act like this? Just change the name of your party. The idea to call it the Democratic Party when you are explicitly being anti-democratic. Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's yeah. embarrassing. And by the way, they, uh, one of the things they said, the article on this is like, 
uh, Dean Phillips is fueling some of the arguments that Bernie Sanders used, which could potentially have turned off young people and made them not want to vote for Hillary Clinton. Oh my and it's like, no, it is not him shining a spotlight on the truth that's leading to these young people not wanting to vote. It is literally what you are doing that is making young people not want to vote. Stop burden shifting. Right. Stop passing the buck and pointing it at somebody else because they decided to explain the reality of what's happening. No, it is on you. And like Crystal said, in a scenario where you had a perfectly democratic system, where in all 50 states you have a, a democratic primary, in that scenario it's still overwhelmingly likely Joe Biden would win it. So why would you do this? And again, it's because they don't want to take any chances. But look, this is as authoritarian as it gets. Yeah. This is as authoritarian as it gets. And I hate to say it, but I think in some ways it's true. The way the DNC acts is oftentimes way more authoritarian than the way the RNC acts. Well, think about it. Trump doesn't want the RNC to have any more debates. He wants them to just, you know, call it and just basically anoint him. And they have resisted that pressure. I mean, not that they're like, I'm, you know, not here to defend them as being amazing or whatever, but they are having some kind of a process. People are able to get on the ballot. They're able to participate in primaries and all of that has been closed off on the Democratic side the entire time, in spite of the fact that, you know, they claim that, oh, they're so committed to defeating Trump so that they can save democracy. Like, Joe Biden's getting his ass kicked by Trump right now, and the, his actions in Israel, like justifying genocide, are certainly not helping things either. So if they actually cared that much about defeating Trump and saving democracy, perhaps they should let there be a process so people might have the ability to pick a candidate who can finish a sentence and project any sort of leadership qualities that might be appealing to the American public. Yeah, I mean, it's just fi final points on this. When you look at everything that's happened recently, Biden supporting the Israeli government as they slaughter Palestinians, um, you know, he sent out a letter basically begging young people for support, being like, hey, remember when I did some student loan debt reduction for you? Right. There's been a list of things recently that are just like embarrassing. And then when you add this on top of it, it's like, if, even, if they're trying to get young people, then they have the worst judgment of all time, you know? Because yeah. to actually get young people, it wouldn't be that difficult. You just got to stop arming and funding a genocide. You got to be more aggressive with your policy priorities, you know, whatever, extend the child tax credit, give people paid vacation time by law, get other parts of Build Back Better through, uh, do more student loan debt reduction where you just said, hey, the Supreme Court already slapped it down. I'm going to use the Higher Education Act. Why not go all the way? Why not get rid of all the student loan debt reduction? And remember, when Biden announced his initial plan, he had a much higher approval rating with young people. His number shot up with young people. Yeah. So this isn't fucking rocket science. But what you definitely don't do is what the Florida Democrats are doing, which is just rig it for Joe Biden and then turn around and shame people and wag your finger at them and browbeat them. As a, why, why aren't you voting for me? I don't know. Maybe because you're, you stole the election and you're backing a genocidal maniac. Maybe that has something to do with it. So they need to course correct and they need to course correct ASAP because the fact of the matter is you're up against an authoritarian with 91 criminal charges against him and you're down in five of six swing states and you're down about two or three points nationally when you need to win by probably three or four in order to win the election. So they're bringing it on themselves, man. And I don't like that. That doesn't make me happy because I understand Trump is definitely a greater evil, but everything Biden is doing is effectively making it easier for Trump to get back in the White House. No and this is no exception to that. This is like one of the worst things I've ever seen. This is totally anti-democratic.